guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be doing an eye focus look. I'm gonna be showing you how I got this bronze cut crease. We got a little graphic liner going on. But before we get started, I wanna make sure to shout out the artist because this is an inspired look. I'm gonna put her name down in the comments. So make sure to give her a follow on Instagram. Her work is amazing. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and prime the eyes first using the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. I mix together two shades. I use a D100 and T300 to get a shade that's closer to my complexion. I'm gonna use that to carve underneath the brows and I'm also gonna apply it onto the lid. Then once I have the concealer on, I'm gonna go in with my itty bitty beauty blender and blend out the edges to make sure I have a really smooth surface. Now, even though this concealer does dry down to a matte finish, just to really make sure everything is super smooth, I'm gonna set that with some powders. So I'm using the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder, but you can honestly use any setting powder. This is the powder that I use to set my concealer like when I was doing my skin routine so that's what I had like closest to me but any setting powder will do just fine. Now we're gonna go into shadows. I'm mostly gonna be using shades from the Artist Couture Supreme Bronze Eyeshadow Palette. I do believe that this is like their most recent eyeshadow palette launch, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna go in with the shade Mirage first and apply that to the inner corner to bring some extra brightness to that area. Now we're gonna start creating our cut crease. For the base of this look, I'm gonna use the Danessa Myricks Color Fix. This is in the shade Blackout. It is a liquid color, but it dries down to a matte finish. I love, love, love love this product the color fixes come in like a plethora of different shades as well there's like neutral tones there's a pops of color metallics these things give me so much life i love these little babies here so i'm going to create my shape using a liner brush as well as like an angled brush i'm going to fill in the wing and then i'm going to feather in the edges once i get closer to the outer corner Going back in with the Supreme Bronze Palette, I'm gonna go in with the color Shady and use this to continue blending out the edge of that cut crease. And I'm also gonna apply this directly on top of that black base that we just applied. Adding that extra layer of eyeshadow is gonna make sure the outer corner of the liner is super intense. Then next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Baked, which is a deep warm toned brown, and we're using that to blend out the edges of that black eyeshadow. So basically, I'm trying to create an ombre effect on the lid. So you saw me go in with some black, now we're going in with a dark brown, and then as I get closer to the inner corner, I'll start to use lighter shades. I'm then gonna go in with the shade Sun Kiss to bring some warmth into the look. This is definitely leaning more towards like the orange tones. So I thought this would be perfect to go underneath the warm toned shimmer that we're gonna use on top later on. And and as I'm going along, I'm going back in with my previous shades, so those colors Baked and Shady, just to make sure that those colors aren't losing their intensity as I'm going through the blending process. Then to complete our ombre, I'm using the shade Toasty on the inner corner of the lid. Now it's time to add our shimmer. I went in with the Huda Beauty Caramel Brown Palette and I took the like bronzy shade in the middle. That color wasn't really like giving me though, like what it needed to give. So I ended up buying it with my finger instead of a brush. It still really wasn't like 
hitting the way that I wanted it to. So I ended up going in back in with the Supreme Bronze Palette and taking the shade HBIC and applying that onto the lid right on top. And that's kind of like what I did to get like the shimmer, gold, bronzy type of effect on the lid. It was a little bit of a struggle there, but we eventually got it. <laughs> So I'm definitely not one of those people that's like, you know, can do a perfect graphic liner or like winged liner in just like one swoop or something. <laughs> like I'm definitely not one of those people. So for the graphic liner part of this look, I ended up using an eyeshadow first to map out where I wanted the liner to be. And then I applied the liquid liner on top. This is a good way to just map out what you wanna do first before you go in with like a black eyeliner, especially for this particular look. I already already had my skin done so I didn't want to like you know make any mistakes or anything like that so I wanted to make sure that I got it right the first time so I went in with that shade topless from the same palette and I used that as my guide to figure out how I wanted my liner to go once I had that like mapped out then I went in with my liquid liner the liner that I'm using is from one size beauty this is the point made liquid eyeliner pen in bodacious black but this is one of my favorite liners actually I have like a love-hate relationship with felt tip liner like sometimes the felt tip part is just not as like sharp as I want it to be. So I usually gravitate towards like brush liquid liners for that particular reason. But this particular pen is amazing. So I'm basically going to go over the little line that I made using my eyeshadow. By the time I was done going over like my little sketch of my liner, I was feeling really bold. <laughs> so I decided to add some extra like little designs on the outer part of the liner. So the hard part is officially over. We've got our liner on, we're done. <laughs> so now we're gonna go in with some mascara. I'm coating the top and bottom lashes using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And then for my false lashes, I'm using the Crystal Lashes in the Style Wicked. This lash has definitely been a favorite of mine over the last couple of weeks. I feel like I've been gravitating more towards like natural looking lashes, especially when I have like a super dramatic, like detailed look like this. I definitely love to use more natural looking lashes because we just spent all that time like trying to get like that perfect graphic liner. The last thing that I want to do is cover it up with some lashes. So I've definitely been preferring like more of a natural lash so that way you can still see like the details on the eye look. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick little rundown of this lip combo that I came up with today because you guys know, you know that I love a good new lip. Like, mm. New lips are like my, my go-to. So to line the lips first, I went in with one of my favorites. This is the NYX Cosmetics Slide On Glide On Lip Liner in shade Intimidate. I'm gonna line the lips with that and fill in the edges to make sure that they're nice and feathered. So that way when I go in with my liquid lipstick, everything blends in a lot more seamlessly. I'm then gonna go in with a second lip liner. This is the J-Cat Beauty Holy Addiction Lip Liner in shade Deep Brown. So this one's much darker than our previous lip liner. I love going in with my darker lip liner because it kind of gives the lips a more contoured type of look, but I make sure to draw a very, 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 very thin line. I'm not trying to like fill in the lips like I did with my last pencil. This is literally just to give like a slight shadow to the lips.
And then for my liquid lipstick today, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Unbutton. It's that perfect peachy new type of shade. You guys know I'm all the way here for. And that pretty much completes the look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I love these little tutorials because I think it's pretty obvious that I'm like totally like into eye looks. But yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think about this look down below in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Thank you so much for watching guys. I love you and hopefully I will see you in the next one.